Welcome to the online demonstration of TT Workbench. Test Analysis After execution, you see passing and failing test cases in the management view on the left-hand side. The green bubble shows that everything is fine. The red one points out a fail. Now you can analyze in detail the graphical logging below to find out what went wrong in case of a failure. The first and the second test case were OK. Nothing went wrong. But let's have a look at the description of the third test case. The test purpose says that the system under test is supposed to send back a 404 not found response in case of sending an invite request with a request URI that includes an incorrect address or an address which is not known. If you double click on the message for sending, it is displayed in different views. This is the dump view where you see an invalid request URI requiring a 404 not found as answer. Another view is the hex dump view, showing the message in hex notation, or showing the message directly in the data structure like it is represented in TTCN3, with user type, specific name and values. What we received from our system under test is first of all a 100 trying. You see the assigned matches and mismatch boxes highlighted in blue. TTCN3 has a check mechanism for all events happening. In this case, it checks the receive event of a 100 trying in the queue. It evaluates from top to bottom all branches of the TTCN3 alternative until it matches. Here, there is a first mismatch on the 404 not found, so the first template in the branch of the set of alternatives is not matching, but the second one matches against the 100 trying message. TT Workbench enables you to directly jump into the source code showing you the respective step. In our call control module, we are at the response of 404 not found. The second branch of the alternative is used to capture out the 100 trying responses. TTCN3 provides this filter mechanism to filter out messages of no interest. In this case, TTCN3 uses the repeat statement to reuse the alternative again. The next message arriving at the queue was a 180 ringing, which matches correctly. The third message received was a 200 OK. To check what went wrong, I just click on the first mismatch box. Now you can see in the test data view where exactly the error occurs. Instead of receiving an expected data structure with a 404 not found, we received a 200 OK. The call is shut down here, and in the end, our test case fails. You saw that within TT Workbench, you can easily jump from the graphical logging to the TTCN3 source code. The tool provides a nice overview of matching and mismatching operations, of received messages against expected TTCN3 templates. You can see directly what went wrong, not only for the first integer value, but for all kinds of defined values.